ball probability. A half and 46 and four. So she got a bit of a breather down the back stretch. The field now rounding the far turn, gaining with every stride and with all probability. There goes the front load shot. Sweet Serena with the ball rush. Garden Gale is right there. Light, light, moving into dramatic contention. She's coming now with her run four wide, gaining ground with every stride. If you could see me now, it's just in behind. Horses at the inside and light, light accelerates. That pours it on now as they're coming down toward the final furlong. Pouring it out and pulling away with all probability. Cannot stay with her. Then farther back, it's Garden Gal third. And they're coming down inside the final furlong. Light, light, impressive here. Now in front by six. With all probability is a leg-weary second. Long shot till for mid third. Light, light does it again. Smashing fashion here. 148 and four. I believe that's a new stakes record. And young Corey Nakatani is happy about Penny's that. Penny's prospect. On the outside of him comes Bon Point, who's eight off them. Fatherland starts to kick early. Fatherland just took up here, and Fatherland pulled out of the race. Fatherland pulled out of the race at the three-eighths. Guide is a long way back. Guide is now last as they swing for home. Wide open, they bunch together and homeward bound in the Hollywood Derby. Explosive Red has kicked clear. An Explosive Red clear by three. Earl of Barking now coming with a big run and Bonham is in third. They run for home. Explosive Red, Earl of Barking, Bonham on the outside. Any one of these three and Fastness is coming with a late run fourth. But it's Explosive Red holding on gamely. And it's Explosive Red and Cory Nakatani to win the Hollywood Derby. They come for home and Serena Song kicks clear a length and a half. Call now is not done. She's trying to battle back. They come to the 16th and it's Serena Song and Kari Nakatani finding more on the lead. Call now can't get her. And Serena Song, the daughter of Rahi, has gone on to make it a huge day for D. Wayne Lee Lucas as she wins the Oakley from Call now. Second now for Stanley, wanting a bit more from Annie's bed, still running in second. And then it's Bird tailing off a bit in third. Kara Raphael is fourth. Then it's Pike Place Dancer, and my flag is still fifth. Jerry Bailey getting into my flag. She's got too much to do. She's better than ten lengths behind. And Asina begins to roll. Asina now opens up by two lengths. Anti Spend is running in second. And then it's Bird, Kara Raffaella, Pike Place Dancer making a move on the outside. And my flag is under the whip with more than a quarter mile to go. They are at the top of the stretch. It is Asina, Pike Place Dancer coming hard on the outside. Asina racing for the challenge from Pike Place Dancer. Asina is still holding on to the lead and she is unwavering here beneath that day. Pike Place Dancer giving her all running the race of her life. It's Asina, Pike Place Dancer, a last get lunge to win. Pike Place Dancer has won the Oaks by a head over Asina. Farther back, Cara Raffaello was third and the final time was one minute 49. And the late running Lita Justice is 14th and a trailer. Sensational quarter, 21 and three fifth seconds by Lord Carson and honor and glory is moving to him paying dues keeping pace on the outside third appealing skier has back pedal to fourth Lakota Brave is finding his best ride he's fifth on the outside Lita Justice is coming up the inside he's coming powerfully as well Capote Bell victim L trying to thread his way through it's still Lord Carson tenaciously trying to hold out the game on and glory Lita Justice a great blur in the stretch it's Lita Justice the last to first winner of the sprint, King Goose. The long shot finishing second. Honor and glory was third. Sorry. Different is called on for her run now. And the cadence quickening with three furlongs to go. But they still have to get to top secret the leader. Serena's song glued to her flank second. Different put to a drive on the outside third. Just in behind them it's Joel Princess fourth. Serena's song is colored top secret. And Serena's song has taken the lead. But Different is coming to the attack on the outside. And Joel Princess is splitting horses with a decisive drop. Three fillies into the final furlong together. Joel Princess down inside, comes on throw, and she takes the lead from Serena Song. Different will be third. Joel Princess has won it beneath Corey Nakatani. A big day for Corey Nakatani. Eight off the leaders. They approach in the 516s, and Sharp Cat still glides along just over a length in front. Queen of Money is second, and High Heeled Hope now trying to come and make a race of it. Double Park and Demon acquire not involved at the top of the lane and sharp cat in the white blinker still being confidently ridden strides clear by three lengths as they come past the eighth pole and at sharp cat now just putting on an exhibition for us this afternoon sharp
Bobcat, the daughter of Stormcat, just going to totally destroy the field in the Santa Anita Oaks. Shopcat by a half a dozen. Queen of Money. Followed by Royal Applause. Elmhurst is the trailer. 21 and 2. A spectacular first quarter here. They're coming to the top of the stretch. And Track L has lost the lead. It's Exotic Wood on the outside. And he's a bull. That half in 43 and 4 fifth seconds. Confide is coming up the inside. Men's exclusive and bet on Sunshine is at the rail. Into the last for long. It's He's a Bull with the short lead. Exotic Wood giving it all on the outside. Bet on Sunshine. And here comes Elmhurst. Storming down the outside. Elmhurst flying. And here's the line. Elmhurst gets there in the final stride. Wants to run. 21 flat for the first quarter. They are barreling toward the top of the stretch. And it's Re-Rays leading them all. Three rays heads for home with the lead. A firm success is set down for the drive. Rare up driving up in between horses. Pona Gold is there toward the inside. AP Assay is making a run from off the pace. Grand Slam appears on the scene late. And Goldland is flying down the center of the track. He's still five lengths behind. Three rays coming down to the line. Pona Gold, Grand Slam. Here's the line. Three rays got it. And he won by two. It's a photo for a second between Grand Slam. And Kona Gold over Brayback. Garbu holding on a short lead. Brayback, here comes Linda Hand. And Linda Hand is cruising up to the lead. And Silic is sweeping four wide as they approach the top of the stretch. Docksider is following his move. Kirkwall is just in behind the leaders. And that's delay of game. Middlesex drive toward the inside. Tuzla charging down the center of the track. Wide open. Linda Hand short lead. Silic on the outside. Linda Hand. Dean Wawi, Astro still four from this leader, England's legend. And then further back only to you, the seven C's and finally Spook Express. They come toward the quarter pole. England's legend still there by three to Calatierra and Megan's Bluff. Solving is next, Dean Wawi and Astro is faded through the stretch run now as they turn for home. Corey Nakatani and England's legend, the French bred Philly by seven expanding lengths and the lead continues to grow. Follow that on the outside by the 7C, Solvi quickens on between horses. Spook Express at the rail. No doubt about the winner of the Beverly D. England's legend was in a class of her own. England's legend won by... Foster Daly, she checked in traffic. In the meantime, Sharp Lisa had a clear run coming toward the leaders on the far outside. And now the field turns for home. And it is Sicity who turns for home with a tenuous lead. Boletto's right there. Sweet Adamine now is running room. And here comes the big filly on the outside. Runway model, Bottled up toward the rail, nobody go for her. Oh, and she's in tight two. But in the meantime, Sweet Katamai has overpowered them and strides away impressively and unquestionably the two-year-old Philly champion. She wins by five. Boletto is second and runway model. Yates. But here comes Meteor Storm on the outside to join them. Jambalaya's just in behind horses. Simonis has made up some ground. Gray Swallow has moved into a contending position and Meteor Storm has come away with the lead at the head of the stretch. Meteor Storm, Gray Swallow's in the far outside, Simonis is right there, Jambalaya is set down, relaxed gesture on the grandstand side, Electrocutionist is trying to close. They're in deep stretch now, final 3 sixteenths. Meteor Storm on the outside, here comes relaxed gesture for Corey Nakatani. Relaxed gesture has taken the lead in the final furlong. Relaxed gesture is pouring it on. Final 16th of a mile. Relaxed gesture scores a resounding victory in the Patterson Canadian International. Meteor Storm holds for a second. Giacomo's in behind him. Perfect drift on the outside as five to make up. Top this and that has dropped out last. Three eights to go now, and Lava Man kicks for home, and Lava Man suddenly shakes away from them. And look at Lava Man open up, coming to the quarter pole. He's gone. He's opened up four lengths on them. Preaching at the bar, Super Frolic, Magnum, Good Reward, Perfect Drift, Giacomo all far back. Homeward bound in the big one. Lava Man committed now. Can he go on for home? Here comes Good Reward along the inside. Perfect Drift running on on the outside. Lava Man now by three. Good Reward. Super Frolic, Perfect Drift not doing enough, but it's Lava Man. 
and Lava Man and Kari Nakatani have won the Pacific Classic. Good reward with second. Super Frolic third. Gold are fourth and fifth, and they are four lengths behind. There's a half mile left to run. Magnum is the leader. He's a length in front of Ace Blue. Lava Man going to go up three wide, and here comes Lava Man to put his head into second. And now the race is on as Magnum can feel the pressure of Lava Man, and these two sprint away midway around the far turn. Ace Blue will watch those two run away. Super Frolic is at the rail. Seek Gold is eight behind, and they run to the top of the stretch. Magnum's at the rail. Lava Man is along side in second. Ace Blue's actually back into the bid. He's only a length and a half from the front. Super Frolic is next and Lava Man and Magnum come to the final furlong and Magnum has lost the lead to Lava Man. Lava Man is ahead in front. Magnum is battling on bravely and coming back. Ace Blue's only a length from Lava Man. Lava Man has the lead. He's put away Magnum but Ace Blue is charging. Lava Man Ace Blue right together! I think Ace Blue had his nose down on the wire. This is desperately close. Put of a mile to go. Pomeroy in just behind the leaders. In comes Friendly Island. Henny Hughes, something drastically amiss today. Henny Hughes didn't pick his feet up at all. He's far, far back. They come past the 300, and Thor's Echo takes the advantage and kicks on for home. And it's Thor's Echo, bought an arrow along the inside. Running a big one here is Attila Storm. Coming late down the center is Friendly Island. Nightmare affair but it's all Thor's Echo and it's Thor's Echo in a dominating performance in the sprint Thor's Echo and Curry Nakatani win it clear, Friendly Island was second a photo board and arrow and nice Lava Man has taken over the lead he'll have to deal with Molen Gal who's under the whip and two lengths from the front AP Excellent is back to third AP Excellent is battling back inside of Lava Man Lava Man is only ahead in front AP Excellent battles on bravely and maybe even retakes the lead Lava Man to the outside there's the original rags to riches lava man did it again by a nose Go now and coast guard taken on by bob blackjack polonius a close-up third elgato marlowe's gone for an early run and elgato marlowe has taken fourth and he's having to be ridden though to go after them Colonel John, now Colonel John dropped far back, but he's got running him, he's running on. Yankee Bravo just in front of him. Homeward bound now in the Santa Anita Derby. Coast Guard the one to catch, here comes Yankee Bravo. And Yankee Bravo, Colonel.